Hello, this is Brian and CH53 Gamer. Welcome to Skyrim, the level one challenge. Today will be part eight. Last time we ended with Tilk, the Khajiit vampire lord, having finished Bleak Falls Barrow and right outside the exit, about to continue the main quest. So, here we go. And we're back. And we'll continue the game that I played last time called Where the Hell is Feindal? Because he didn't come out this exit with me. I'm sure he'll just turn up. That seems to be the case. And down a little bit. I'm scattering down this little ledge. And we'll start walking towards River Run. Now I could, if I wanted to... Oh, is that Feindal? Oh, there's Feindal. He's back. He must have been at the bottom of the hill or something. I could... Uh, just fast travel to, to River Run. But there are a couple of ore veins I know about on the way, and I want to collect those for the um, smithing that I'm not going to do with this character. Unless, of course, I decide to continue past level 1, which I've hinted at, but haven't decided on, so we'll just see. Um, also, there is Anissa's Cabin on the way. Anissa's Cabin is a nice, convenient place. You can take it over and store stuff um, in it. In the, in the basement. There's also a uh, enchanter's table and a potions master and a potions table there, so you could even uh, make it a, a real true base. You can't sleep there because it's owned, even if you take care of Anise. Uh, the nice thing is, once you go into the basement, Anise will let you take care of her and it won't even be murder because she'll attack you. However, if you do that, at some point her sister or relative or somebody who's a hag raven will send some thugs to attack you and while I could take care of them, I just don't want to because they'll attack you in a city and then that would make me change to a vampire lord in a city or I'd have to run away and change to a vampire lord would involve becoming a, uh, getting a bounty and dealing with the law and all sorts of stuff. So we're just going to bypass Anissa's cabin. I have plenty of carrying capacity. Uh, that's, that's the other thing. I use it as a, uh, as a storage unit until I get my house set up, but we're getting close to having a house. And I do believe I have enough carry capacity anyway. Um, 371, okay. But I will do that whole little thing where I sell and uh, go to jail and reset the skills before we actually get too far into today. Okay, so I want to show you the one thing. Here's Anise. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Yeah, right. I'm sure you are. Okay, this thing, the alchemist, is stealing to take it because it's her property. I want to show you just how what what a good guy Fangdal is. I'm right behind you. I need you to do something. All right, what is it? What I want mean? you to read that book. Not for you, not for anyone. Yep. See, he's a really good guy. He refused. Anything to do else? Because it it's owned. So with that, we will get someone else to take care of that. Let's see. There's a couple more um, four banks this way. Oh, there's an enemy. Let's see what do we got here. Oh, there an enemy. Die. There's a good guy. There's a, at least he's not an enemy. I don't know if he's a good guy. He's not an enemy. Who is he? So, Tall Scar the Wanderer. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Tall Scar. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Okay, so this is one of the random encounters. Uh, he's a minstrel. What are you, do the what are you doing The best tales are those of adventure. Who could truly write such a tale without first experiencing such? And I don't want to ask about speech crap because I don't want to accidentally get a right. speech increase. Um, he will, I think, if you go down his path, he'll All tell right. you about the Bard's College and give you a miscellaneous quest to search the Bard's College. But you don't even need to get that quest if you want to go search the Bard's College. You can just go do it. They might even, if you go there, and the Bard's College is in solitude, by the way. If you go there and investigate it, possibly by just walking right up to it, you'll get a quest to investigate it, or you'll get walk in and just investigate it, and it'll lead to a series of side quests, which I don't think I've ever actually done. I could do it, it would be new Skyrim. Alright, here is, we can go back to that tower, and a couple iron ore veins, and I could, I guess I could have got them last time, but I was concerned about being overweight at the end of, uh, Big Falls Barrow, so I saved them for now. And, uh, so I, I did it the slow way this time, and, wow, that sure is slow. When you're recording. Alright, pickaxe. I'll do it faster this time, because there's two of them right next to each other. Alright, 
got the pickaxe. And where there's Riverwood right there. We can actually see it. So I could fast travel there or I could just run there. Uh, fast travel, uh, I guess it would be a little bit faster. But, you know, we're so close. I don't want to open the menu. We're going to go to Riverwood, River, Riverwood and turn in the side quest to Lucon. And that'll also be a good place to uh, drop off Fane Doll and do the cell and go to jail and pick up Fane Doll thing before we return to White Men. So here we go. We're just going to hop across the river. Well, I was going to just run across the river, but from what I remember, there's another ore vein over here I haven't gotten yet. Yep, it's very important to get all these ore veins that you're never going to use. And same thing with all the alchemy ingredients. Most important thing in this playthrough, in fact, even more important than actually doing the playthrough, is getting ready to... I think... Oh, there it is. I knew there was one around here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, it's depleted. Right, let's get rid of the pickaxe. And continue back into Riverwood instead of running across the river and getting there quickly. I will take the long way around, get some ore, go across the bridge, get there a little bit more slowly but properly. Because let's face it, if you were running around, would you honestly wade through the river or would you walk to the bridge? If this were real, I would walk to the bridge. I would not wade through the river. That's just me. Though. Okay, here we go to uh, Lucon. I think his name is Lucon. And the Riverwood Trader, and we'll get turn in a side quest. The first side quest of this playthrough. As a matter of fact, let's check see what I'm doing on the skills wise. Let's see. How's my speech craft going? Going this way. Uh, speech is 15, and enchanting is 15. With no skill increases at all. Well, anything. Do I have any skill increases at all? I think I have lockpicking. Yes, lockpicking is a skill increase. That's the only thing that's increased so far, and I haven't even gotten a real skill increase for it yet. Alright, so into the trader. And this guy will be so happy with us, he'll let us take the cheap things from his store, because we're, we're not going to be friends. Show those thieves not... The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. I have the golden claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Alright, so we completed the Golden Claw. The first side quest completed for this playthrough. And I think you can look, even look at your system. General stats. Uh, quest? Quest. Yeah, side quest completed. One. Right there. That was the first side quest I've completed. Alright. So, mm -hmm. let's save the game, and then talk to him, and sell as much stuff as I can without actually getting a skill increase. So much to us if to I do get a skill back increase, back so no, 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 much for I'll do that later. Care of those that's part of the, uh... The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. That's part of the stuff I cut out. No reason Lucky for you, that was just sitting there for the taking. Yes. Lucky for me, that we're friends now, and you don't mind if I take stuff. And you know what? You know, you if I'm me. just going to the Riverwood Trader is everything you need in sell, a general store. No reason to show any of that. So I'm going to cut it out right here. We'll start with Lucon Valerius, and we'll get back to you as soon as I've looted and sold, gone to jail, reset the skills, and come back here and picked up Nickel. Okay, and we're back. Okay, I've retrieved Feindall. Uh, I've sold the vast majority of our items. I have one necklace left still to be sold, but I decided I didn't want to run into Dragon's Reach and sell it when I could just do that after completing the quest, as I complete the quest. And uh, I did uh, fully charge the Wobba Jack with the blue soul you gems. Did not get a skill increase, and then that enchanting was reduced when I uh, went to jail. And then, of course, I went to jail and um, reset all my skill increases. So here we go. Getting the map. And we're going to travel to Dragon's Reach. Yes, to Dragon's Reach. Yes, we'll go straight to Dragon's Reach. No, no, we're going to go to White Run first. Yes. To White Run. Here we go. Alright. 
Let's see. It is night. That is locked. Um, Fangdahl's wearing his good armor, which is good. Okay, it, it is 8.44 p.m. Okay, I could just play through right now, but there, there is that, that one little miscellaneous quest that I would need to get earlier. So let's wait. <clears throat> we'll wait until morning. Let's see. That should put us in, let's see, 12 hours would be 8.47, 7.47, We'll go to 6.47 a.m. And we'll talk to uh, the blacksmith lady. Uh, I cannot believe I don't remember her name. I'll know her name in a moment. She should be right around here. She's frequently out this early, but she's not today. All right, let's give her another hour. There she Great is. Adriana Got some good pieces out here. All right, Adriana I don't claim to be the best um, blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that on you. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. This is the choice to say that I didn't get earlier for some reason, but now I do. Do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. I'll do it. Thanks. So here we go. We just got a free side don't quest. To check inside a the free shop. miscellaneous yeah. quest, not a side quest. And it will uh, just give us a little bit of gold. Deliver the sword to Pervenus Anuchi. Alright, here we go. In we go. One of the reasons that it felt so everything last time is for some reason this store was closed. It's not closed anymore. So I'm just going to nip in there. Make sure Bellathor is still alive. It was in the middle of the day that I attempted it, so I don't know why it was closed. And... Make sure Bellathor is still alive and then sell him about everybody every here. little bit of stuff. I hop. think all I had left was a silver, for sale, my a silver trinkets, necklace. Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Let's see. Weapons. Yep, nothing worth it. Apparently there's this silver necklace. Potions, want to keep all those. Scrolls, want to keep all that. Food. Yeah, we want to keep all that. I'm not even going to look at ingredients. And everything. All oh, that's all good. All right. Yes. Tab the exit. Do come back. So here we go. Out of White Run. <clears throat> and. Oh, then another thing. The Vampire Blood Boils the Sunlight. Uh, running around just doing stuff. I am now a level 4 vampire. So I'm going to favorite all this stuff just in case I need to use it. And we have Embrace the Shadows, Night Eye, Vampire Seduction, and Vampire Servants. Along with Vampire Lord. Wow, District, very often. Oh, what am I Alright, there we go. Um, also, on level 4 Vampire, just so we understand everything, active effects during the day, 50% uh, weakness to fire, and health, magicka, and stamina are, do not recover and are reduced by 60 points. So you really, really, really don't want to get into a fight I as a level 4 Vampire that. in the daylight. And there are ways to handle that, but they involve doing the Dawn Guard quest and carrying around a bow, and I'm not even sure if Oriel's bow causes an archery skill increase. I don't think it does, because you don't actually shoot anything, but you never know. All right, let's save the game. All right, we're going to go in here, and the first person we'll talk to is uh, the steward. Adrian's father. I wish I could remember his name as well, but I'll know it in a moment. I serve Provitus Avenici. As the Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. I have a sword for you, from your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. And there we go. I thought it was more than 20. I wouldn't have bothered if it was only if I knew it was only 20, 20 gold. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. All right, whatever. All right, Pervenus. Twenty gold. Amazing. You see? Okay. The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. All right, he's talking to himself. 
Uh, this is the guy where I actually don't want to talk to him right this moment. Like I said, it's bad as a vampire to fight during the day. So uh, 12 hours later is 8.48 p.m. That's 7.49 p.m. Excuse me, 7.49 p.m. And 6.49 p.m. By the time we finish all our stuff, it will be well within the night hours. And I'm actually hoping I'm, I'm not waiting too late because I don't want the battle to stretch on into the daylight. But that's why I'm saving the game first. You have a much older text. All right, here we go. Oh, ah, look at that. Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. He was not talking to himself. He was talking to Delphine. She just wasn't there. I got you the Dragonstone. What next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. So it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. You should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. I like it how that One means. last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. So Irolith is expendable, and Ferengar is not. And also, I have the most experience with dragons. I guess you mean if failure counts as experience. Because let's say, face it, all I did was run I've away. I've seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Run were as known. All right. So Irolith is going to go... It's almost 8 o'clock. I hope I didn't waste too much time. Alright, so Aerolith is gonna head down here. Into White Run. We'll go gather the guards and then Damn, fight this dragon. The nice they thing is, once we've completed this quest, the dragons will have spawned in Skyrim. I can get a house. I can get Lydia. I actually do have enough gold to get a house by selling all that stuff right here. Uh, that way I can drop most of my carry Gods capacity. And, Reach say you and the yard. that means I can also afford to get rid of the Steed Stone and take the. Um, the Lordstone to get some damage resistance, and it's just going to be great. We'll be well on our way to beating this game at level one. Uh, during this track, this, then this this fight is literally the reason I got the Wabajack. I'm glad I got it to get through the uh, the um, Dim Hollow Crypt. Uh, but this re fight's the reason I got the Wabajack is because there are witnesses around. So if I try to turn into a vampire lord, the witnesses are going to notice and. Then it's just gonna get ugly. The guards will try to kill me instead of trying to kill the dragon. I'll have to kill all of them. I don't even know if I can kill Irileth, which will involve a big, huge bounty. 
on the back end, although it would be kind of fun to go back to Wald. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. What? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Card, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. You stick it with the pointy and that's what you do. We are to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so how dead. I'd be a lot but warmer, a lot happier with a belly full of need. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. Killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. yeah. If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's cold Let's move out. Oh, this 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 guard that just randomly walked by interrupted the, the interrupted all the dialogue. But uh, one of them would have said, "We are so dead," and it would have been funny. But he didn't say it. And I was saying something before the conversation started. I've already forgotten what it is. I'll hear it on the replay, but by then it'll be too late. So, oh well. All's well that ends better. Save the game. I want to keep that save just in case I spent too much time talking and not enough time fighting. Daylight, I mean. And see, I already forgot to do something. I meant to go get the uh, Blessing of Kenrith and get 25 extra stamina for this fight, but oh well. Not gonna happen now. Oh yeah, I was talking about if uh, I could trans go into a vampire lord to fight this thing, but that'll make all the guards hostile to me. They try to kill me. I'd have to kill all of them just to survive. I don't even know if I could kill Irolith, so she would she might just go to a knee and not be able to die, and then she'd get up and attack me again, and then she'd be a witness to all the murder and all the va all the transformation into vampire lords, and I have this big huge bounty. And uh, yeah, it just would it just wouldn't be fun. Actually, it would be kind of fun to see if I could do it, but. But that's why I got the Wabajack. We'll use the Wabajack against the dragon. The Wabajack uh, usually frequently kills enemies, as we saw through the Hollow Crypts. But it can also occasionally do good stuff. It's just randomized. But against dragons and giants, it always does damage. So that's why we have the Wabajack for times just like this. I think there's one more fight against the dragon later on that has witnesses. So the Wabajack will be for that as well. But other than that, usually when I fight a dragon, it'll just be me and a follower uh, out in the wilderness doing whatever, doing whatever, was the counter one. And uh, that's how I will become a vampire lord and take care of the dragon using my vampire powers. Alright, here we go. R, Q, let's get that Wabajack ready. Wabajack is fully charged. No signs of any dragon right now. It sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out. Look for survivors. We need to know what we do. Let's see, what am I doing with carrying capacity? I'm at 370. Oof. That iron armor. That's a lot of weight. Hmm. Oh well. I'm gonna get some dragon bones from this fight, but I'm not gonna be able to carry them all, which is fine. I'm not doing. I, I'll, there, there will be plenty of opportunity to get dragon bones throughout the playthrough, and I use them for crafting anyway, which I'm not gonna craft. So I just gotta get over ha 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 my need to loot everything. All right, into the tower. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Gardner, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! Oh, I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count! Alright, here comes the dragon. We can hear it, and soon it'll even give us a convenient quest. Vangal, get out of the way! Don't just stand there. Kill him. Alright. Let's save this game. If I had Fus Roda right now, Feindal would go flying. Alright. 
find out what this dragon is. Did he already land? Oh, he already landed, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Okay. I don't wanna, since uh, I don't wanna have to, I only have limited shots with the, with the Wabajack, so let's make every shot count. Got him. All right. That's gonna fly away. Miramul here, Miramul here, that's his name. He's a name dragon. Sometimes they just say dragon, but this guy, he's named. They can shoot at me. All right, that's two hits on him. Did some good damage. I just want to confirm that I'm still on. This guy's going down fast. Setting, gameplay, master. I'm still on master. I didn't change it. Cool. Uh oh. Oh, I hurt myself. There we go. The Wabajack makes short work of dragons. Damn good shoot, boys. What's happening? Everybody, get back. This poor guard just got thrown aside like it was nothing. Finally, start shouting. Unrelenting force will favor that and will equip it. And then optional, boom, used it. I'm gonna say something. It. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn, what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. I think you may be right. Why is it not doing that? Okay, I, okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know what happened to me. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be dragonborn. Dragon? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood, like old Tiber Septim said. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. Will you say you left being awfully quiet? Come on here, tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't at all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. It must be. You really are Dragonborn. Alright. So that's the end of that conversation. As everyone can see now, I'm Dragonborn. So let's make our way back to Whiterun. And that will continue to advance this quest. And uh, then we can take care of a bunch of housekeeping stuff, which I probably won't show at all. I'll just summarize it at after I uh, after I do it. It'll involve getting Lydia and getting a house, putting everything in my house. I don't have so much stuff to carry anymore. And I'll probably fast travel back to the Western Watchtower and get the rest of those dragon bones, because I don't want to leave them behind. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I think the Western Watchtower is a fast travel point. Oh, yep, yeah, it sure is. All right, what time is it? It is 11, 12 p.m. I was worried about running out of time. That fight can actually take quite a bit of time. I didn't realize the Wabajack was going to dominate the dragon quite as much as it did. 
Uh, who knows, I might even use a lobby. Okay, that was interesting. I might even use the Wabajack when I fight dragons from now on if it's going to take them out that quickly. Holy cow. Alright, anyway, that was uh, someone just shouted across all of Tamriel for the Dova Keen. I don't know if it's all of Tamriel or just Skyrim, but everyone heard it. I wasn't the only one to hear that. And that's actually, the, that's why I didn't fast travel. I wanted to hear that. So now that we've heard it, we can fast travel to, to Dragon Reach. Dragon's Reach. Alright, here's Dragon Reach, Dragon's Reach, in the Dragon's Reach we go, there's, um, there's Jarl Balkruf and the guy who, once again, I don't remember Good. his name, You're finally Proventus. here. I will the Jarl's been waiting for you. Let's talk to Jarl Balkruf. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The watchtower destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turn. I killed the dragon. I think uh, the watchtower is destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. I love how Preventus is just wearing the sword he's supposed to give to Valgrif. I'm pretty sure he never gives that sword to Valgrif. Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Yes, I heard. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We All still right. have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. He gave me Divines a bless you. sword, the ground you a, walk quick a as you pass. badge of honor as being Thane, and that put me over capacity. So I'm going to purchase the house in the city. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. And while we're at it, I'd like to decorate my home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, 
Don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? I will purchase the Alchemy Laboratory. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. I don't intend to do Alchemy, but I always like to have a place like to, to put my ingredients. I'll do the loft. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, I say the same thing. is there anything else you'd like to purchase? A uh, dining room. Very well. I'll is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Bedroom. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Living room. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And purchase? kitchen. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And that's it for now. Never mind. I don't want to purchase any decorations As you wish. Right now. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations right, for your We're home. We're done. I, I, we could talk to him and get some lore, but I don't, I don't really feel like Dragon's doing that right Okay, as you can see, I'm walking very slowly. So, I'm going to save the game. I'm going to slowly walk down to my house, drop everything off, go pick up those dragon bones left behind, drop them off, get rid of Feindel, get Lydia, sell anything that needs to be sold, go to jail to get rid of, rid of any skill increases, and then I will load, the, I will pick back up in front of my new house, Breeze Home, in Whiterun, to show the house. And I think after I do that, that is where we'll call it a day. But anyway, so, it, it's instantly, to view, it will be instantly, to me, it'll be a little bit of time. Okay, this is Lydia. She's going to be my new house, Carl. Yarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. And I'm going to say, what does a house, Carl, do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. She is going to be a much better companion than Feindal. I got your back. I already got everything away from Feindal. I have 653 pounds of stuff on me. Um, I need to trade some things with you. I am at your command. No, she didn't say I'm sworn to carry your burdens, which is what she'll say. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to load her down and then continue on with the, uh, with the housekeeping. All right, I'm back. So, this is my house, Bree's home. I've got Lydia instead of Feindal. I've put the most of my stuff in Bree's home, but before I go in, one of the things I saw was that these two guys were being yelled at by a guard and told to leave, and they're just looking for somebody. So let's just go ahead and let him you say there. his piece, otherwise for someone he'll keep pursuing me the entire we'll good game. Money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiteron, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Lokir, for Lokir, what? Why are you looking for this person? Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. All right, dude. If you locate her, find you told me to walk away. So I pretty much am going to. It's another side quest. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it anytime soon, at least. All right. So the quest I will eventually work on is um, the way of the voices. Yes, the way of the voice. Okay. So before we call it a day, let's go inside and look at three something. This is my house. I didn't really, I didn't loot anything in it because I kind of like it to look nice and used. I put all the skill books acquired on the bookshelf. Uh, all the ingredients I'm never going to use are right over here. And I did pick up a few more, so let's go ahead and store those real quick. Um, up this way, I'm going to put all the weapons I collect over the time into here, including the staves. Halder's st one of Halder's staffs is in here somewhere. And over here, I'm going to put all the all the apparel I collect, including I like to I like to have one of all the good stuff. So I have some some white gun white, white run guard stuff, and then all the miscellaneous stuff is just going to go in here. Including the two dragon bones. Okay. There we go. So, this is my bedroom. This is Lydia's bedroom. And all in all, a nice little house for me to live in. I could mount things on the walls up here, which I will work on that much, much later. Let's just get an idea of what I've got on me now. 47 carry weight, so good. Um... I got the Wabajack and Halder's Staff, a longbow to shoot down any little annoying traps. I uh, got some clothes on. 
including an amulet of Talos, so I can shout more frequently. I've got healing and stamina potions. I'm not going to use magic, so I didn't need to carry those. Some scrolls in case I need to use them against enemies. A little bit of food. And then just a handful of things I could not drop. My lockpicks and some petty souls to recharge the Wabajack or Haldir's staff as I need it. Well, anyway, I think this is going to be it for today. Um, when I pick up tomorrow, we'll head to the Way of the Voice. But we'll do a few things first. If I remember, we're going to head out to the world. And we're going to go to the Lordstone. And we're going to trade out the carry capacity for the Lordstone. And then we'll walk over this way in this general direction to Iverstead. And then up to High Hrothgar, which is right there. And that's what we'll do tomorrow. Uh, but as of today, thank you very much for joining me. Have a nice day. And uh, goodbye. See you later. Oh, and since I forgot to say it the last time, I said it the time before that. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, please give it a like. And any comments are always appreciated. Thank you very much. And goodbye.